สวัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหมดิฉันชื่อนาคาเยินดีต้อนรับสู่ช่อง YouTube ของฉันมายเอ็นเอ็กเครียดส่วนวันนี้เรา o ะทำการเขียนเป็นลักษณะของแบบไทยทอดผลิตภัณฑ์ทายเปเปอร์คราฟต์นั่นคือสาเหตุที่ฉันได้รับการขอบคุณทายเพราะฉันรู้สึกว่าทายของฉันเริ่มเย็นแล้วและฉันรู้สึกว่าฉันไม่ได้ทำการเขียนแบบไทยทอดผลิตภัณฑ์ But in summary, we're creating a whole bunch of really fun paper crafts to bring Thailand into your home while we're in lockdown. There are many countries at the moment where we cannot travel, and travel is just not an option. So why not bring it into our homes with us? Why not create something that makes us feel like we're there and we're, we're doing something proactive, so that when we do have the capacity to travel, we're excited and we are ready to go. So the first thing I created, and this is going to be a two-part series, the first thing I created was a really fun doodle set around Thailand and some of the things that are really special to me and some of the things that are my favorite things. And then also a beautiful piece of paper craft where I used my Cricut Maker to cut out some really lovely um, colored paper to kind of represent the beautiful shadow dances that are created. In the second part of our Thailand experience at home, we're going to create something that kids can do too. Because I know some of us have kids, and it can get really boring at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some beautiful uh, Thai styled lays, and we're going to create some shadow box puppets as well. And this is going to really bring home that feeling of Thailand to you inside your home. So to let you know right off the bat, this. Post is sponsored by Tourism Thailand. The reason I'm doing this post is because I really want to help bring Thailand into people's homes. Having lived in Thailand myself, some of the things that were really fun and really exciting to me was the fact that I got to experience a new culture. I got to learn a new language. I got to try different foods. I even got to learn more about Buddhism and the culture and the people and the locations and the beaches and the temples and all of these amazing things that make up this rich tapestry of what Thailand is. You cannot go wrong with visiting. Thailand. The beaches are stunning. The people are amazing. And one of my most standout memories was I was doing a road trip, and this was during my second time in Thailand. So this is when I was living in Thailand. I did a road trip up into the eastern parts of Thailand, which quite commonly isn't somewhere that tourists regularly go. And did this beautiful um, kind of road trip around the area, and there was this really bright, sparkly light coming from a mountain, and we kept driving towards it, and it turned out it was this amazing temple with these tiny mosaic glass and gold pieces all over the temple, and there was one part of the temple where the the Buddhist monks were there. Popping the little mosaics on, and it was the most amazing thing to see, and it was just such a special experience, and it really kind of stuck in my mind. Granted, there were other experiences that were more entertaining and hilarious than any others. Um, top tip: if you are backpacking through Thailand, the first time I went, I backpacked with my best friend Kerry. And we ended up on a third-class train where I had um, this lovely lady who must have been in her 200s at least, um, and she was leaning against me, farting on my leg for 12 hours. That was great. She also had a chicken. Um, or was it a goat? I can't even remember. That's how far, long ago it was. But the first time we went, we backpacked through Thailand. The second time I went, obviously I lived there. I lived in a, a in an area called Naklua in Pattaya, and I worked in an area called Rayong. Um, yeah, so let's get started. We're going to need a couple of things to get today's stuff done. So the first part of the video, we're going to do some doodling. All you need is your notebook and some pens and some pencils, and we're going to doodle some beautiful Thailand-inspired stuff. And then the second part of this, we're going to create a beautiful page in our journal with um, kind of a shadow puppet feel around some temples of Buddha, and create that into our notebook. 
What you're going to need though is you're going to need your Cricut Maker and that's going to help you cut the paper and put it into your notebook at the right size and you're going to obviously need some colored pens and ink. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is map out what it is exactly that we want to include on the page. I knew that I wanted to include a nice thick Thailand word and I wanted to have some gold and blue and I wanted it to look a little bit like the flag. On top of this, I wanted to create a really cool space for temples. So I've created a pyramid or a triangular shape on top of the Thailand wording so that I can include a beautiful temple underneath. As we continue on, we're adding little details and elements to our creative page. I wanted to include some different type of lettering, different types of images. I wanted to include the floating markets. I wanted to include something from the night markets, the foods, the drinks, and a whole bunch of other things that really bring home all the different elements of Thailand onto a page. Now that we have most of the penciled in images, we're now going to go through and ink these in with my darker pen. This gives you the opportunity to just kind of highlight any areas or features that you think might look really good when we go over it with paint. Now that we've got all our ink in, we're now going to start adding the really bright painted colors. I wanted to include this really bright gold that I've got to the words and also to the temple. I thought that would look really beautiful together. I'm now going to add a nice rich bright red to the flag and a beautiful blue. I feel like these really embody the flag's colors. I'm now going to go through and color in and highlight all the other areas that we've doodled in. And then for the last part, we're going to go through with pen and ink in any of the remaining letters. I'm going to use my acrylograph pens to be able to create a couple more overlays or doodles as we go. And once we're done, you'll be able to see the full effect.
Let's finish off our doodle with this really cute um, little details just all around. Make sure that we've got everything finished off. And once we're done and filled up all the space, we're ready to go. We're now moving on to our paper craft and you can see here I've got a ton of colors. Choosing some colors is really tricky. So I'm first gonna map out what it is that I'd like to draw on a sheet of paper. And then I'm gonna transfer this over to my iPad and I'm going to create a size of the paper that was the same as the one we measured earlier. I'm gonna make sure that it's 13 by 19 to be centimeters to be able to fit into my A5 paper. And then once I've selected the color paper that I'm going to use, in this case, I'm using a nice sunset feel paper to be able to give it this really nice overlay um, over the, the image that we're going to be creating and really create that shadow box effect. The image I'm going to be using is inspired from the free pick uh, website you can go online I've left the link in the box below for you to go you can go download some royalty free images and I've used a Thailand image there where we've traced over the temple the Buddha and uh, the house that we've drawn into this particular artwork Because we've got eight sheets of paper, we're gonna need eight colors. So let's get started with the background and we're going to add a background over the red and we're going to continue doing that until we've got eight colors, including the black top color as well and the brown house color. Once we've got all of those colors in place, we wanna make sure that the um, strokes are really big and that we're leaving a couple of gaps just to create an element of texture or vibrance and you'll see when we're finished how they overlay each other in the cutting machine and how we can put those into the notebook. All right, we're saving those files as PNG files and we're gonna be uploading them into our Cricut workspace. Once they've been uploaded, we're going to pop them in to our Cricut Maker. Now, if you wanna see how I did this um, whole process step by step, I'll link another video below that shows you the entire process from start to finish. We're now going to cut each layer of the artwork that we've created. And you'll see that once we're done doing that, I'm gonna give it a quick iron to make sure that the bend paper is still straight and flat. And once we're done, we're going to stick it all together in the notebook. Okay, it's now time to stick all our artwork in. We wanna make sure that all the layers are layered up correctly and that they're ready to be stuck in. You can see here that we've started from the bottom, we've put the ones in the middle and we've made sure that they're all in the correct and right places. Once we've done that, we can easily stick them into our notebook and it creates almost a flat effect in your notebook and it creates a really nice feel as well.
I would absolutely love to hear from you if you have any questions with regards to things we should cover off in our next videos. Really look forward to hearing from you and head over to Instagram and Facebook and give us a like, comment, follow and share. Thank you.